name's Deborah. This is a Rockstar Math production. Hi, the game we're going to be playing today is called the Xenobolus Challenge, and it kind of starts like this. Uh, if you're putting the kids in groups, they're given a prompt which says, In the city of Atlantis, a solid rectangular obelisk was built in honor of the goddess of Tina. The structure took less than two weeks to complete. Uh, the task is to determine on which day of the week the obelisk was completed, and you'll be card given, given cards containing the information related to the task. Uh, this uh, activity was developed by uh, Francis Young, Improving Work Groups, a practical manual for team building from San Diego, California. And uh, this is actually, I've done this a few times, and it's a really great problem solving activity that teaches students to really look at a problem to utilize problem solving resources. Uh, what generally happens is you divide the students into groups and they each get some clues about this, for example, the, for example, things about the obelisk. Uh, there's a grocery list here of like 30, 32, 33 different sort of clues or questions that will help them. Uh, the first time I did this activity, I actually gave about one clue to every student in the class, and it was a whole class activity. However, I found that a lot of the kids uh, were really engaged, some of them were not so much. So instead of them doing it as a whole class, uh, I decided to do it into groups. So I've cut off these clues and put them into little clue cards, kind of look something like this, where each clue has, I don't know, about half a dozen or so small little clues. And the catch is the students cannot share this with anybody else in their group. They can only repeat information orally. So it really causes them to work together, to read, and to practice their active listening skills. And after 25 minutes, uh, they try to synthesize their clues to try to answer the question. Uh, afterwards, uh, they make a presentation which kind of presents their data. And then afterwards, uh, we debrief the process, which is largely kind of you know how the group dynamics work, what was successful, what wasn't. Uh, this is a great activity to practice problem solving. Uh, it's also a great kind of team building activity early in the semester or like between units. And uh, check it out.
um, which um, still figured out which day it is. But we were just making educated guess, so um, we were talking, and then since fifth day is day day double jump, it's like no, they don't work on that day, so that day doesn't really count. And then it says that it ended uh, before, like. Um, less than two weeks, so it's probably on the second week, either Agua Day, Neptune, Shrap Day, or Marco Day, and we chose Murmur Day because it was a religious day, and we figured out that it should be finished that day because it's like religious to the gods. So, uh, so we figured out there were five days a week, and on day five, which is Dal Dongra or something, there was no work, so it's sort of like a weekend. So we calculated um, uh, how many hours of shalabs and pounds were in a day, and we figured that eight pounds equals one shalab, and one shalab, there's nine shalabs on a working day. So then we figured out there's only a gang can work on a construction site, and one shalab, and then, but one person in the gang is religious, so he doesn't do anything. And so each worker can put a um, stack of 150 shlops, um, blocks per shlops. So, and then we did the multiplication and then we figured out um, um, the Zen was finished on Aqua Day, which is day one, or Neptune is day two. So we couldn't figure out which was right in time for two. Make an educated guess. And we predict that it's Neptune. Second day. So like we put our like clues together and then the days of the week, like day one is like aqua day, day two is Neptune Musk Day, day three is shark day, day four is moon day, and day five is day doll drum. And so day five is no work, so it's obvious that it's not finished on that day. So there's only the first four days left. And so like we did calculations and like we got day two. Yeah. Since there are about 10 days in a week, we and there are 10 days in two weeks, and it's less than two weeks, so it's, but we have to minus the day five, so they only have eight days of working, and eight days of working. So they end on day three. They finish on day three. That's, that's what we're guessing. So what's your answer? What day of the week is third day? Short day. Short, short day. Cool. Thanks, guys. Give those guys a round of applause. This thing was really helpful. When you're doing this challenge, what do you think you guys as a group did that was really helpful to solving this problem? Can we see what wasn't helpful? I'll get to that in a little bit. That's actually the next question. But what, what do you guys think was a good, a good strategy for this? Yeah. Kevin? Drawing? Seven? Not one, not one particular one? It's not very obvious. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Talking yeah. about it? Talking about it? Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Just guessing. Just guessing. How about this? What about the thing you guys are doing that Claudia asked that was not helpful? I should have been. Hold on, just one more time. <laughs> Too long, like, no, 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 what's not, what's not place to blame? Well, not place to blame on any group members because we can't control what they do. But uh, maybe some people were not helpful. It's not single them out or anything. They were like singing and nothing. Okay. Did you say anything to them? Oh, hold on. Okay, so listen. What did you say to group members when you did when they started doing that? Get some problems with group members. Shut up. Told them to shut up. <laughs> 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 it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Nice. Yep. Yeah, Tina. That'll work. Oh, hey, Bo. Does somebody want to speak? Yeah. Somebody want to add something? Yeah. I want to go on this. Someone want to hear from everyone on what strategy of any from problem solving strategies we've, we've kind of used you think really helped you particularly? Maybe not your group, but you felt was kind of like a good thing that really helped kind of organize this problem. I'd like to go around and just kind of quickly say, you know, what was it for you? Uh, Kevin. Um, 
Oh, didn't you put a note card right there? Didn't you put it? I don't know what. Um, well, which one did you put up there? Yes, uh, you reading? Yeah. Check your words. Check on your words. Um, and you put a guess. Draw. Draw. Yeah. Nice and loud so everyone can hear. Gabe's group. If you're in Gabe's group, what? How did leadership emerge? Was there a leader <laughs> that stepped up in your group, Gabe, or anybody in Gabe's group? We <laughs> <laughs> didn't really have a leader. Really, kind of all did our own things, and you kind of worked in it out. But Lisa finished first. We listened to what she had to say, and then kind of go with that. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, uh, if you guys were in Sam group, how like was there a definite leader in Sam Pei's group? Toria. Toria. Tori, why? She did almost everything. She did almost everything. How about if you guys were in Irish group? Claudia! 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 Instantly. Science is the same. Your leaders, Claudia. Your leaders. No need to think. What about in Seiken's group? Kevin. Kevin was a leader. Kevin took everyone to spot. He did a bully machine. Um, you know, I'm actually supposed to ask, or a question is, is who participated the least? But that would be kind of embarrassing. Oh, 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 Two more, two more, two more quick things. Two more quick things, like, how did your guys' feelings towards this change as you guys went on the 30 minutes? Like, did you feel that you're kind of getting close to the answer? Or did you kind of feel like as you went on, it got more and more frustrating? Uh, what was your feeling on this? Uh, and I'd like to hear from some people that maybe haven't said it as uh, much, but I'll start with you. It made me dislike Matthew more. <laughs> nice. yeah. As I solved the problem, then I realized I had to calculate more things to get the right answer. Okay. So it was okay. <laughs> she doesn't talk. <laughs> she doesn't talk. Uh, Silence. Okay. Yeah. I think as, as it actually got more. We're like first to guess. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing. Because, no, because I, because I, because I didn't read the question. I mean, I mean, I didn't like um. Yeah, we read the question, so I just. Uh, and finally, uh, one final thing. And this is kind of more like looking ahead. Um, this really problem is involved a little bit of math, but I think it's really more one of cooperation and working with others and being able to communicate, being able to be a good listener. Uh, obviously, there's some problem solving strategies you have to utilize for this. But if you guys had a problem that was similar to this in the future, like if you had to do something that was kind of similar and you could think back to when you guys did this today, what lesson could you take with you? Like, what can you say, hey, based on what we just did? I think this is what we should do for this. Because you know, a lot of students I found often make the same mistakes over and over. My sixth graders did the spaghetti tower challenge. And a lot of them made the same mistakes they did the first time, and they made it a second and a third time. So they obviously didn't learn what causes like a structure to have good, you know, good strength and integrity and such like that. So what could you take with you after this? What could you say? Hey, you know what? Based on what we did with that, this is what we should do. Don't bother to solve it, just guess. Yes. So educated guess is good. But you only had a few days to choose from, so your options were limited. So you have a one in six or seven chance or something. Yeah. Try to think simple. Huh? Try to think simple. Try to think simply like that. Because, like, um, if 
you try to like get like too complicated, then you uh, like, you're just you're just in, in, well if if you're given a lot of like um, some sort of like rules and, or clues, then you you're, you start to com um, think complicated. But then instead, if you just like organize organize it into like simple form like. Um, ideas on this, for example, like ideas on the sins and like three or four important points, and then like try to and then, like do all it for the other thing and try to like try to match it up. Cool. Anybody else? Uh, yeah. It's kind of like. Okay. Anybody else? I want to thank you guys for participating and share with this. I would like to, in the last couple of minutes, uh, show you guys and walk you through the answer. Uh, thanks, Elise.